Hello, welcome to you all. This is going to be a reading for our beautiful air signs out there. We're going to go Gemini, then Libra, then Aquarius. I will put all of the timestamps in the description box down below. Let's say a quick blessing. We'll get started with Gemini. Holy Spirit, thank you for being with us here today and in every breath that we take. We ask that these messages be received by those who are meant to hear them. Amen. All righty, Gemini, I am going to start with this Marielle Tarot for you guys. If our candle back there goes out, it is not an omen. It is just like on its very last few breaths out there. So just don't worry about it. Him and I, I knew this card had come out because I could like kind of see it when it flew out. It's the Three of Swords, and we have been having a lot of Three of Swords energy. Um, and I, I recorded the Earth signs, I guess it was yesterday. I just saw 111 on the clock. Um, and we had a lot of Three of Swords energy with that. Three of Swords can be the energy of a breakup. In this particular case, it comes out in the reverse. I have the King of Cups upright, the King of Pentacles on its side, and I have this Two of Wands. I feel like whoever I'm reading for here, Gemini, you may have a choice between two different people here or like one of them is kind of a uh, let me just I got the page of cups here there it is one of them you're more friends with but they have feelings for you and then this other person kind of keeps their feelings tamped down a little bit here I feel like you're kind of ready for a new relationship one of these people is coming back from your past like somebody that you've already been with and you've already ended things with um you have feelings for both of them well great <laughs> um and you're kind of mentally conflicted about this whole situation what have you got going on over there my goodness um one of them could be a Taurus. Um, beyond the zodiac signs, though, I feel like you're actually in the place where you want some kind of a commitment in your life. You're ready to begin something here. Like you're ready to kind of take the next steps in your life, whatever that means for you. And you're looking for, wow, I've got the Six of Cups here, which is soulmate energy. You're looking for the person who is going to be with you for a long time here, Gemini. Um, this person that's coming back from the past feels very comfortable to you. However, an ex is an ex for a reason and we are about to go into a retrograde. I know it's still just a few days off, but I, I personally can feel like that shadow of that retrograde already. So somebody here you've already ended things with, but they feel really comfortable to you. Somebody else here and I don't know if I'm read I don't know if I'm reading for different Gemini's here, maybe, obviously, but you either have two people coming towards you and you kind of have to make a decision about who you want to spend your time with here, or this is just different scenarios for different Gemini's. You dig? All right, clear as mud. I know. You're welcome. Um, now, some of you are single parents already, and you, f yeah, and you feel like um, there's not a lot of room in your life, and so you kind of want to be with someone that's comfortable to you, which is probably why this person from your past seems so appealing, um, just because you don't feel like you have to change a lot for them. Now, I'll tell you, whoever this person from your past is, Gemini... I think that's the one that has the feelings for you that they kind of keep tamped down. They could be a Cancerian. I also have a lot of Virgo and Taurus here on the table. Um, this person wants to marry you, and I think you know that. There's something about you, Gemini, you're very, and I'm not just trying to blow smoke here, but the cards that are coming up would indicate that this, that that someone sees you as being very attractive, um, very magnetic, very sexually attractive to them. 
and very smart too very smart they enjoy the conversations that you have with one another i have another deck over here that's just sitting up here looking at me um i have the sun card here this person make you feel like they feel like you make them happy and i think you may feel the same way about them i'm just curious as to why you ended things with this person in the first place Now, some of you have, man, nah, yeah, that's okay. Fair enough. Um, wow, fair enough. Okay, let me just, right, I'm gonna stop here. Um, for some of you, this person has done a lot of thinking since you ended things with them. I have that four of wands out there twice. Okay, the four of wands can be that divine counterpart energy. You already have the six of uh, cups over here. Um, not necessarily, but it, it can be someone who wants to marry you. That four of wands is like creating stability um, within yourself, your, your home. Um, but it, it can be a card of marriage as well. And I bring up this other person that you may also be thinking of or who's also thinking of you more likely here Gemini um I don't think that you really are that interested in them it feels like you're already starting to date someone new here with this king of pentacles energy but someone from your past is coming back and kind of hijacking that yeah maybe all right, um, let me get another deck out here. I already started pulling with that four hawks of tarot, but I want to um, actually, yeah. Let's talk about why you ended things with this person in the first place, because golly geez, um, they have been kind of, and I hate to say lost without you because, um, golly, there's so many repeats in here. So I have the four of wands out, not once, not twice, but three times, and quite honestly, I've really only used two decks, and so for it to come out a third time is kind of extra. Um, this may be a time of union for you and a divine counterpart. This could also just really indicate a marriage coming towards someone. There's that two of wands again. Um, that's someone who is really ready this time. All right, let's find out why you guys separated in the first place because as I was just about to say before that four of wands came out again, totally distracted me. Um, you guys walked away from each other. I have that eight of cups out there twice, um, but somebody here hasn't been able to let it go. You can see this person just kind of lingers on and they can't stop looking at what they've left behind here. That's this other person, I feel. I guess it could be your energy, but it really feels like this other person. Um, this person has been kind of, I, I just only see like mental imprisonment here. And this is someone who's trying to figure out how to fix this, how to solve this, how to come back towards you, kind of racking their brain. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. I had it all and now I don't. Um, golly. In the meantime, it feels like you've kind of started dating someone else. Maybe this King of Pentacles energy. And I think they are totally all about you too. I really do. Um, let's find out why you left this person in the first place and just kind of, and just kind of put that out there. Golly, there's the sun card again. This may have happened during Leo season, which was just about a month ago. This person didn't realize, well, you both didn't realize what you had when you had it. You really didn't. Um... And the reason I think you were short-sighted on this, somebody was a little overwhelmed in their life. Somebody may have actually been physically relocating, like moving at the time, which is a lot of upheaval, but it feels like someone had a, so much going on that they may have um, restricted their communication with you. And they also may have, um, been kind of inflammatory at the time. How do I, like you guys may have gotten into an argument because this person was overtired, almost like a toddler. 
you had one conversation that ended things and it ended things. And it was like one of those moments where you were saying to yourself, I don't think I can be with somebody like this. Oh, golly. See, this is what I want to kind of explore here because, and like I said, an X is an X for a reason, but also these retrogrades that happen, these Mercury retrogrades, I think we might be in a Neptune retrograde also. Um, these retrogrades are put into our you know, astrological space to bring things back to us, to slow things down, to make us look at things again. This person, I know you feel their energy and they feel yours. I don't know. I'm really on the fence about this one, kids. Because I want you to be, there's the Six of Cups, literally on top of the Six of the cup, uh, six of Cups here, golly. This person wants a new start with you. I've got the Page of Pentacles again. This Six of Cups out here twice. This person may have recently bought a new home. Um, I know I had that Ten of Pentacles out there again somewhere in here. Um, but this person, they view you the same way you view them. You miss them. You miss each other. Yeah, page of wands again. This is a flirtatious energy. There's that nine of cups again too. You guys make each other happy. You spend a lot of happy times together. So here's what I really see happening here, Gemini. I see this person coming back into your life, but I don't know if they're actually gonna stay. I feel like if you want a committed relationship and you want something that's gonna go the distance, you might want to explore whoever this King of Pentacles energy is. Whoever this um, King of Cups energy is, though, I feel like that's where your heart actually is. And I think you both have been trying to manifest each other back into your lives. Golly, there's a Ten of Pentacles again. You may end up moving in with this person. I don't know if it's going to last because I have this feeling that you guys have a really intense connection and it's almost like a wildfire, like it can blow and go and it can do a lot of changing of an environment really quickly, but when it burns out, it burns out. This King of Pentacles energy, it seems more stable, but I see that we have a lot more energy placed on this other person that you have all these feelings for and this person has all these feelings for you. You don't feel like you can trust this person entirely and that may be part of the attraction here. Um, there's just something about this person that pulls on you and they might be very attractive. You are too, I can see that. Um, uh, they just get you every time, but they, there's, mm, they may suggest that you guys move in together and that may happen. I feel like someone here may have children and that may be something that causes an issue here. And I don't mean that the children cause issues. I mean that the dynamic in the household may cause issues or something like that. And that's important. It's really important. Kids are the most important, right? Um, mm. You guys may um, have a tendency to argue. I see a lot of passion here, and this is really what I'm seeing. I see that this connection is very passionate, but it feels like it kind of comes in and out, or it's about to start coming in and out, kind of on again, off again, just because there's conflict here or there can either be arguments or there can be something to do with children, maybe both. I, 
obviously it's not my job to boss you or to even instruct you here and it's really just these are just words that kind of will hopefully clarify how you're feeling here I feel like this go round with this person, Gemini, you are going to um, see things a lot more clearly than you have in the past. And I think that while there's, there's a lot of spiritual cards here, um, I've got that four of wands out there three times. I have the six of cups out there twice. I have the star card out there twice. I have the sun card out there twice that's that's a lot of healing that's a lot of happiness but i just have this gut feeling that this person doesn't bring a lot of stability into your life they may have some unhealed issues you may have some unhealed issues and it's like every time this person comes back towards your life you start um making plans together you start you know moving towards one another and it kind of falls apart. Now there's someone else here with this King of Pentacles energy that is real serious about you too, Gemini. And they would be willing to give you everything that you could ever want as far as stability, as far as like long-term relationship but you don't seem to be too focused on them. You're kind of focused on whoever this is over here. And that's okay. Um, and quite honestly, nobody, yeah, there's the King of Pentacles again. Um, and you may have met this King of Pentacles during Leo season. And we have that lovers out there again. And I've got this Empress energy out here. You got a, you got a heavy decision here to make, um, Gemini. What is it that you really want? It's okay if you don't want to live with someone and to be married to someone and to have some big commitment. That's okay. Um, I just, I feel like I'm reading for someone here who doesn't really know what they want yet and that's also okay. But this person that's coming back, back from the past, they are very attractive and I'm just seeing like somebody who reels, reels you in. Um, and they feel the same way about you. Um, that should be said. Um, I'm seeing a lot of Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn on the table, and I'm seeing a lot of Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Aquarius, and Leo here on the table. Um, also, Scorp yeah, Scorpio heavily as well. Um, I don't think you know what you want to do yet, but I feel it's almost like a playful energy. Like you just kind of want to see how this goes, where this goes. I just encourage you not to get yourself into a situation that you're going to regret later. And, and you just need somebody to tell you that. Um, I think you already know that. I mean, um, just be honest with everybody so you don't have to feel bad about anything later on. Um, somebody really has their heart focused on you and it's that king of pentacles you kind of seem to want to go towards this person who is a little more closed off emotionally someone that you have to work a little bit harder to get to the i'm seeing that um commercial where the owl licks the the it's a tootsie pop commercial how many licks does it take to get to the bottom to the middle of the tootsie pop and he always crunches it right um, that kind of feels like you and this person, like where this, there's something very seductive about that person. There's something that's very intriguing about this King of Cups energy. Um, they may feel this way about you too, but I, you know, I, I'll say it again. An X is an X for a reason. You're very good on your own, whoever you are, Gemini, like single really suits you especially if you have children already. It seems like you handle everything very well on your own and you're used to being very independent. But this person just won't kind of leave your energy and it's because you need to look at it again. You need to decide how you feel about it. All right, that was your reading for this week. Thanks for letting me read your cards for you, Gemini. Have a wonderful week. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you are so inclined Mwah to you all. Um, next, we have Libra. Libra, I'm going to use this um, Tarot of Wonderland for you guys. Oop. 
You guys have the Two of Cups, the Ace of Pentacles, the Ten of Wands in the reverse. Wow, somebody finally gives up and they give into some kind of a partnership here. This is someone who says, you know what, you're right. I don't want to do all this on my own. Wow. Um, this Ace of Pentacles is basically the best card you could, in my opinion, the best card you could get in any reading because it's a stable new beginning. It's something you can take to the bank. It's something you can invest in. It's beautiful. I have the Nine of Cups here. This is about wish fulfillment. I always think of this as like the birthday candle wish that comes true. It's like you getting what you want. This is going to be a good week, Libra. I am so happy for you. There's like an ending of all of the stress, all of the worry, something. It feels like you may have been like doing something big at work. Like maybe you had a big project going on. Maybe um, you had a big event, something like that. And it feels like it's over now and you can finally rest and come back to whatever this partnership is. This two of cups can be a soulmate card for sure, but it can also be like a roommate dynamic. It can be a friend dynamic. It can be a partner partnership and work. In any case, it feels good. It feels happy. It feels healthy. There's some kind of restoration here of peace. And that is so nice. I have this high priestess energy. Your dreams may be off the chart this week, Libra. Good. Put a dream journal next to your bed. I'm so bad about dream journaling. I never do it. And I always mean to. And lately I have been having some crazy dreams. I should do that too. I should put a dream journal by my bed and write stuff down because I'm always waking up in the night lately. It seems it's not in the night. It's at like 5 a.m. or like 5.05 a.m. It's like right before your alarm's going to go off anyway. So you're like, what's the point? I'll just stay up. The other day, though, I woke up at like 2.30 in the morning and I was like, and I was awake for like two hours in the night, like from 2.30 to 4.30. And I almost just got up and I was like, Jess try to get some sleep. You're going to be a wreck tomorrow. Um, I have this nine of pentacles. Those of you who own your own business, that's, um, this is going to be a really good week for your business. Who's that? Yeah, that's the sleepless nights card. Golly, we were just discussing that. Um, it feels like some of you, there was a conflict and you weren't sure what to do with about it and it had it came up like a month ago or two weeks ago and it feels like it's just evaporated it's just no longer an issue you don't have to worry about it you don't have to think about it almost like a contract that you weren't sure how to deal with or something and it just disappears there's no problem there good um there's just an ending of stress and worry Some of you who are single, <laughs> okay. Um, some of you who are single and you haven't been single that long, you're kind of starting to feel like you want to get out there again. But there is, um, I encourage, well, yep, there it is. I was going to say, I, I want to encourage you to wait. Um, wait a little while before you get back out there. If you recently ended something with someone, don't like jump back on that horse. Don't rebound it in any way. Um, because the last relationship you were in here, Libra, looks like it kind of left some scars. And let me just show you. I've got the Three of Swords here, which has been a very popular card this week, um, which is about endings. It can be about breakups. Um, and this Seven of Swords is someone who doesn't tell you the truth about things. You may be kind of colored right now by the last experience that you had. And while you're feeling a little bit lonely, this person may have um, cheated on you, put you in a third party situation, something like that. And while it feels like there may be some people who want to spend their time with you, it feels like you kind of need to take some time and wait a little bit. Just wait a little bit before you jump down that rabbit hole again. I mean, if we're going to be like literal about these cards. Um, but this fool is a brand new beginning. And I have this devil card on the bottom. It feels like you just walked away from someone here. Your initial inclination might be to run right back out there and start dating again. But I feel like you might need a little bit of time just to heal yourself. And I want you to, to think about that in the sense of what are you going to be attracting? If you come into dating, if you go into dating with the idea of, you know, with this kind of spiritual debris hanging out on you where you've 
you're not trusting people because you were lied to or you maybe are attracting some folks with some boundary issues because that looks like it may have been the case or you may have had some boundary issues. I don't know. Um, there's toxicity here. There's addiction here with this devil energy. I, I would just give yourself a little bit of time to heal from this because there is some kind of soulmate energy coming around here towards you and they're going to be with you at the right place at the right time. Now, let me... I feel like there's a time, I can feel like a timeline coming up here. And I wanted to say Capricorn season, but um, yes, I'm 100% right. King of Pentacles, um, Virgo Taurus, Capricorn energy here. So it feels like if you will just wait until the new year to really haul off on into any um, major relationships, you're going to be a lot happier because you're going to like what you're attracting. Um, and the next person that you meet, you may meet them through your work or through some kind of team I, sounds weird but team sports uh, but um this eight of cups energy like the, this is somebody who's saying like i can't believe i ever wanted that in the first place i'm set you know and it feels like somebody here and it, it kind of feels like you libra you may be still a little bit focused on what you're letting go of right now and anytime you're focused on the past like that it just you know i would give it a little bit of time now other than that, because what you really want is something healthy. You really want something healthy and it feels like you want something that you can grow with someone that can grow with you golly there's the eight of cups again i didn't even see that just hanging out there and there's the king of pentacles again hanging out there as well nice I like it when you guys give me repeat cards and I don't even have to shuffle. That's my favorite. But this Eight of Cups is, um, it's really asking like, what are you comfortable with? What have you been comfortable with? And maybe what you've been comfortable with hasn't been the right situation for you. I feel like you deserve more. I feel like you need more. And I feel like you're attracting more into your life, but there's just still kind of some debris hanging out on you. And so let's wait for that to clear. Let's wait for you to decide when you're ready to clear that. Um, look, Being single looks good on you right now, okay? Um, those of you who own your own business, it looks good. It feels like any issues that you were worried about have, have started to dissipate. Yep, there's the Seven of Wands in the reverse just when I was saying that. It feels like any little dramas that were coming up for you are just rapidly removing themselves from you. Um, Libra season is going to be great for you. I've got the justice card coming up. That's your card, Libra. Um, you're about to head into that. And it feels like you're going to have some new beginnings for yourself financially that are going to be very profitable. This is really good vibes. I just encourage you not to give in to loneliness here and reach out to people that you shouldn't reach out to or start things that you know you really have no business getting yourself into. That's all there is to it. Um, there's a lot of healing and happiness coming up for you this week. Um, and I know that sounds rather broad and general, but it's a healing of your heart. Um, I see somebody walking. No, you're saying, no, I'm ready for partnership. I'm definitely ready. And there's the two of wands right there looking at me on this other deck too. Fine. Um, some of you really do feel like you're ready for that. You really do feel like you're ready to meet someone new. You're ready to partner with someone but I also have this nine of swords again out here. It's because you've recently maybe met someone that has interested you or you've interested them, but everything you've been through, it just feels kind of close. It feels like very kind of tender, but I have that six of cups again, golly. You may have recently met an Aquarius that's kind of changing your mind on this whole sit and wait a little while. Or this could just be someone that's crossed your path at a time when you weren't really ready to have it crossed. I don't know. That's okay. Golly, this person is super taken by you. And there's that Three of Swords again. And there's that Sun card again. Kind of on the fence about this. I So it feels like our air signs this week are just like super 
attractive. I like that. Ugh. I feel like you're supposed to know this person even though you're not ready to have them in your life. Well, you know what? When it comes to love, you never know when it's going to come. You never know when it's going to hit. You never know when you're going to meet somebody. But when you do, I'm all for exploring that because you're going to kick yourself if you don't. Absolutely. If this feels like the right person for you, go ahead and give it a shot. But just be mindful of the things that you've been through in the past. It's all right. And let those things be a reminder of what you don't want in your life. And you, I feel like I, I'm changing my tune here. I really am. I'm kind of changing my feelings about this because you know I love love. I want everybody to be in love. I want you to be in love. I want me to be in love. I love to read for love. I love it when love comes out here on the table. And this person that's coming towards you, it kind of feels, kind of feels good. I kind of like it. Maybe there's just some trepidation here after everything you've been through. This person's going to understand that. This feels really balanced, if I'm being honest. You may meet this person during Libra season, during next month, your, your season. Or you may just meet this person and you know they're the right fit for you. This person is going to be stable and they're going to be... Um, financially independent and they're going to own their own home they may own their own business says they may own more than one and you guys may really enjoy each other the only thing that i would say here libra is to just just be mindful of what you've been through in the past that's it and and just really treat yourself with care treat your relationships with your you don't really even need me to tell you this obviously you know all of this but there it just seems to be like it just kind of seems soon for those of you who have been through an ending recently but that's okay i mean who really knows when love is coming and when it isn't Unless you read tarot cards, and then you do, obviously. Um, this person may be someone you've waited a long time to meet. And I definitely don't want you to, to miss any opportunity. And you'll know if this is the right person for you or not. And you're going to know if it doesn't seem like a good fit or if it does. There's, there's kind of a learning curve here. And I feel like you're a smart cookie, Libra. I love this. Um, go ahead. You Let me know if you've already met this person or how this goes when you do meet this person. For some of you, it's you're going to be meeting them like next month, like September. Well, we're already in September, aren't we? You may meet them sometime this month. I see 444 on the Google clock across the room from me. Um, you may be meeting them pretty soon. All right, all right. Well, do let me know if that happens because I would love to hear all about it. All right, don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll see you guys soon. Next up, we have Aquarius. Aquarius, I'm gonna use this traditional Rider wig for you guys. Got the Emperor and the King of Pentacles when I split the deck. Nicely done, and the King of Swords, woo! Oh my goodness, whoever you are, Aquarius, it looks like this is a good week for you financially. It looks like work is good. It looks like, I'm hearing that people are loving you at work. Whatever it is you do, it feels like you take charge of a situation. Um, maybe there is a situation that needs to be taken charge of and it feels like you do. Have the King of Pentacles and the King of Pentacles. You have a king of pentacles out there three times. It feels like your money just increases rapidly. Um, this week, if it's not this week, it'll be the following week. Whew. You may be given more responsibility at work. You may be promoted at work. You should be very proud of yourself. Nicely done. Um, a lot of you are spending some time on your own. Um, not talking to a lot of people, not sure who you want to talk to. Um, some of you have been trying this online dating thing. 
and you're not sure how you feel about it, you're not sure if you want to partner with anyone, if you want to stay single, I swear, like, love seems to be a big deal this week for our air signs. And it really feels like um, our air signs have people coming back from the past to kind of be reevaluated and some and it feels like you have a lot of new potential beginnings with people and I'm, I'm getting like a lot of this energy out for our air signs this week uh, and this nine of swords <laughs> this was in our um golly it was Libra just a moment ago you've been through some things this summer and it's just been in the last few months that you've really been through some things and when i say been through some things it could have just been a harder summer than usual i'm hearing somebody say where was everybody then oh kiddo um okay let's just um, i'm hearing i'm a lover not a fighter um, I have the Fool energy here, which was also in our Libra reading, and the World card. What? This is good vibes. Oh, I am loving this a million billion percent. Um, Aquarius, whoever you are, you are getting ready for some kind of major change in your life. And whatever this major change is, it's bringing stability into your life, but it's going to be something that lasts for a while. Um, this may be related to this for some of you this is like you like training for a marathon like you may literally be signing up to run a marathon next spring or something and you may be deciding that's something you want to do um, for some of you or, or something like that um, for some of you you're being given a new job opportunity and for some of you this is going to be a marriage um, <laughs> Oh, let's do some reading here because, oh, yeah, and I, for some of you, this will be a marriage. Yes, this is a family being created or a blended family coming together, but it also indicates marriage. Marriage, marriage, either with a fire sign here or a water sign. Um, let me just get another deck here and clarify. I don't know what I want to, let's use this after Tara. Why not? Um, let's. Well, there's the King of Swords, nicely done. Um, that's your card again, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, energy. Um, whoever you are, this is going to be a week where you are very much relied upon for whatever it is you do at work. Um, people need your advice. They need your help. They need your support. They need you to decide what to do about things. It's a big responsibility, especially when partnered with this emperor energy. And like I said, you have this king of pentacles energy out. Not once, not twice, but three times. Nicely done. Um, it's kind of your job to do this, and that's why they pay you the big bucks, right? Um, but it looks good. You make good decisions. You do things the right way. I like this. Oh, I just love ya. All right, let's see here. I feel, I just want to shuffle this one more time because I got distracted by all this uh, beautiful King of Swords energy over here. Here's the other thing too, um, Aquarius. It feels like you're making good decisions this week just in general. And we have a decision that has to be made here by you, whether if, if you're single Aquarius and you're maybe doing some of this online dating thing, because this is my online dating card. All right. This eight of wands, because it's about fast moving, direct communication. It's like multiple inboxes or like multiple streams of conversation. It's very overwhelming. And you may be feeling it's very overwhelming right now to the point where you kind of just want to be on your own. These are both very solitary energies with this nine of pentacles and this hermit. This nine of pentacles is someone who's single, very independent. It's the minor arcana of the empress. This, um, and it's Virgo energy as well as this one too and we're in Virgo season right now so there's no surprise um as to why we'd be feeling that way but this hermit energy is someone who's saying you know what I might just be better on my own um because maybe you've been meeting a lot of people who I'm sure are very nice lovely people but they may not be a good fit for you and so you're kind of trying to decide do I want to keep on trying to do that or do I just want to let myself be single there's something about the season that makes people want to attach to one another right now during this fall season. 
it seems like it happens in fall, like right around this time of year. And then again, like May, June. All right. Mm. There may be a lot of people that you're meeting that, you know, you may be attracted to, but when push comes to shove, you're not really finding a lot to talk about or you're not finding that you're interested in the same things or you may argue with this these people or you know there's just like little they don't seem to be able to get past the first gate when it comes to you I don't know how many gates you have past the first gate someone shoot um Aquarius this is your card with this star card and this all just came out right here in a row um somebody here feels like they screwed up a relationship when they really have like for some of you you've already met this person that you feel is your number one person and that eight of wands you may have met this person online quite honestly um you have this ace of pentacles ace of cups here but i have this knight of cups in the reverse and and, and you also have this ace of swords so you got three aces out here right this is a new beginning there's an opportunity that's coming back towards you to restart a relationship that's possibly going to end in marriage okay now here's the kicker this person may be Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy or Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. The separation between the two of you has been good for you. And I can't tell you how many times I have said that in readings over the last couple of days. Um, something changed for this person or for you during Cancerian season it may have something to do with their work. They may have also been in a relationship with someone else. I've got the Empress here to the Emperor. Um, this is a this is a brand new beginning where you're going to feel like where you feel like you need to start over like from ground zero with this person now this is tricky though because somebody here feels like they've already screwed something up and it could have been because of deception because of not telling the truth about a situation or somebody in this dynamic may already be caught up with someone else these are the things um this page of cups feels like they screwed something up the first time and that's why they want to do over <laughs> like no no don't take it now wait 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 till I get the fish back in the cup and then take the picture right yeah wait till it looks right <sighs> someone here Kind of tried to create a facade of who they were or or something i'm seeing like facade energy and with this seven of swords seven of swords is usually someone who is not you know telling the truth about something i have this queen of wands energy and this sun card that's leo energy something may have come to light during leo season Something happened during Cancerian season or Leo season here. It was like summertime energy. I don't know if you had just met this person or if you had a relationship, a long-term relationship with this person. <sighs> At some point you ended this relationship and took a break from each other. You are soulmates, I can tell you that. And we have a lot of different soulmates in our lives, we do, so. You don't have to worry about it. But there are some people that you want to keep around longer than others, you know. Um, this person that is kind of hanging out here in your energy, Aquarius, has a real fear of being trapped. And they have, they're fearful about their reputation they're fearful about, there's a lot of fear in this other person, what people say about them, what people think about them. This person feels like they always have to be on, but golly, there is some kind of um, reunion coming for the both of you. 
All right, now I'm gonna have that sun card out there again. If you haven't come back into contact with this person, for one thing, there was a timing issue with this past relationship, but if you haven't come back into contact with this person yet, it's coming. You just don't see it yet. Um, Got a lot of Leo and Cancerian energy on here. You guys are really happy together when you come back towards one another. And if you come back together again, I think it sticks this time. There's marriage energy here. I don't know. This is very retrograde. Very retrograde. Um, and there's the four of wands on the bottom of the deck. Of course it is. Of course it is and the wheel of fortune what was i saying this is an issue of timing there's the queen of swords with the knight of swords under it so it doesn't matter if you're a masculine um, aquarius or if you're a feminine aquarius if you're young if you're old it doesn't matter it feels like there's someone that's coming back towards you for a new opportunity with a relationship that may be very long term it feels like you guys may move in together there's going to be a lot of financial prosperity between the two of you obviously we have an emperor and an empress here so it feels like you bring your own either businesses to the table or your own money to the table something like that this new beginning feels really fresh and good there's a new kind of com um, communication between the two of you where there maybe wasn't such good communication before it feels like something's changed and i don't know how that could be but something has changed that's that energy of that um wheel of fortune you know it, it means change it's also sagittarius energy um this person may have sagittarius in their chart or you may come back towards this person during sagittarius season all right clear as mud to me kids and i have a i have a fear that all of our retrograde readings are going to be like this because like i was saying before retrogrades bring people back into our lives to be for relationships to be reevaluated they all also cause delays in our technology and our mail and you know stuff like that but sometimes it's good to slow us down a little bit so that we can make sure we're making good choices for ourselves obviously you will because you're a smart cookie and you're very good looking don't forget to like and subscribe Aquarius I'll see you guys soon have a great week